You keep expecting them to be something that they are not. Maybe it's your brother. Maybe it's your mother. Maybe it's your sister. Maybe it's your father. Maybe it's your partner. Maybe it's your friend. Who knows? You keep expecting them to be something that they're not. And it hurts that they're not who you thought that they should be. Hey, I am Rosemary Noni Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your self-confidence. I support you in leaving behind the pain and the limiting stories and beliefs of the past. I support you to rise victorious in your true design life. It is a life of peace and plenty. That is your divine right, if you're willing to claim it. And this whole expecting someone else to do the work for you, I know that's not what you're thinking. I know, I know, I know. And I don't come at you with judgment. I come at you with, honey, there's a different way. There's a different way to get what you're looking for. Because you have this expectation that this person needs to be something that they don't even know how to be. You want them to apologize? They, are you hoping that that apology will give you some kind of peace? Maybe, maybe. But maybe they will never make that apology in the way that you want it. And you're putting your life on hold, waiting for them to see the error of their ways. You keep hoping that something that they do, be it your brother, your mother, your sister, your father, your who knows whatever, that something they do will somehow make you feel better than you do right now. Okay, I get it. If they do come on bended knee and really grovel and beg for forgiveness, yeah, maybe it will make you feel better for a season. But the pain, the emptiness you feel right now, it's not just due to them. You're just making them the target. You're making them the focus because you are not paying attention, my love, to what is going on with you. What is going on inside of you? You've forgotten who you are. And so you're waiting for them to, to, to give you peace, to give you strength, to give you whatever. I know that's not what you think you're doing. I know. You are a powerful person. The things that have happened to you that you're still standing is a great, amazing thing. You have created what some would consider to be an element of success. You know there's more for you. So I know you're a strong person. I'm not speaking to the weak here. You are someone who really has overcome. And you're standing strong. I get it. And yet, you put in parts of your life on hold, waiting for this person, whoever this is, to repair what they cannot repair, what they're not even capable of fully knowing how to handle. It's time for you to take back dominion over your own life and your own affairs, all of it, all of it. You are born and meant for a heck of a lot more than this. The, the thing you're looking for can only be found in your deep connection with the divine. You give lip service to this, but you don't really know how to do that. Because all you've been taught, all you've been shown is how to try to get other people to do what you want them to do. It doesn't mostly work. It's usually quite frustrating, but you just keep doing it because you don't know any other way. But there is another way. Honey, come and do life with me in the Deliberate Millionaire's Incubator. You are that driven, determined, spiritual person that knows that you are meant for more. You are supposed to be prospering wildly in every single area of your life. You know it. But you're stifled by doubt, by fear, by all of this nonsense that has happened in your life. The stories that you're still anchored to. The people you're still anchored to. People who are fine enough doing what they're doing when you know you're born for something more. Come into the incubator. Come and commune with me. Come and share your heart with me and other driven spiritual people. Come and be seen. Come and heal. Come and immerse yourself in a different way of thinking, of being, of doing. This is not for the weak. The work we have to do is not for a weak person. So I ain't speaking to someone who is weak. I'm speaking to you, the powerful, strong, spiritual person who knows you are meant for more. Hear me. Hear me now. 
You have been immersed in weakness for far too long. And it is time for you to rise in strength. Come into the Deliberate Millionaires Incubator. Come now. The link is rosemarynonnyknight.com forward slash deliberate millionaire. Go and read the page. You know already that it's time to join. Click on the yellow button. Join in, my love. Okay? I look forward to doing life with you. I look forward to seeing you flourish in the way that you are born to. You can no longer be held back by anybody else. Your prosperity, your, the difference you're here to make, it's too precious. It is too precious to be frozen in some past moment. You are born for so much more. So let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. You have felt the call. You have asked for support. This is the divine. This is a sign you're looking for. It's time. Come join in. Rosemarymoneynight.com forward slash deliberate millionaire. And share this video with someone else, my love. Share this video. We must reach the other driven spiritual people who, are, who need to elevate. It's time. We don't need to be trapped in the past anymore. It's time to rise. Let's do this. I look forward to doing life with you. Come on into the incubator. Come on now. Much amazing love. Bye.